Hostile spot is... Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with the OG M16. Let's have a look at the configuration. Start with the Mark III reflector. Doesn't do anything one way or the other. Just gives you an optic. The Jack Cutthroat stock. Let's have a look at that one. It increases the ADS movement speed by 19% or up to 3.8 meters per second. You're bouncing side to side with that thing. Movement speed goes up as does crouch movement speed. Gun control, a little bit damaged by that attachment, but still it's really good except for the vertical recoil. It's at 61.49 degrees per second. So that's something you need to keep in mind. It goes straight up. Keep in mind when you're firing the weapon. The Sokken ZX Grip. That helps with the gun kick and the horizontal recoil and the vertical recoil. The overpressured ammunition. I use that because it increases the target flinch by 75%. And if we're shooting at distance, we're likely going to be going against another AR battle rifle or maybe a sniper. And making them flinch can be important because there is a 66 millisecond burst delay. And finally, the FTAC MSP98 hand stop. And that helps again with accuracy. Gives up a little horizontal recoil, but the horizontal recoil is outstanding. And it's part of that composite 5.4 meters per second, 2.5 meters per second, and 3.8 meters per second on the, the movement speeds, 3.8 for the ADS. When you look at the damage, it's at 57 for the headshots, which is pretty stout, as is upper torso, lower torso, and upper legs, all at 38. So the thing does pack a punch, and the ADS speed is at 240 milliseconds, which is very, very good for assault rifles. Reload quickness is absolutely lightning with 2.6 seconds partially and for an empty, 2.7 seconds. The sprint to fire speed is a fairly blistering 189 milliseconds. So let's take the M16, which has been buffed a couple of times, into the field of honor and let's see what happens. Shoot House, one of Grandpa's favorite maps. But before getting into that, let's compare it to the MCW. MCW meta configuration and there's the meta configuration to the right fire rate bullet velocity yes the mcw wins headshot damage and effective damage range take a look at the m16 as the winner and by the way yellow highlight over green is good for the m16 over red is bad now if you look at the time to kill though if you get three shots into the noggin, it's a 148 millisecond time to kill. If you get two headshots, it's a 148 time to kill. If you can mix in, a, well, actually, not even a headshot. If you can, there's Elvis, like Yak Elvis. If you get all three of your rounds into the enemy, it is a 208 time to kill with a fourth round coming. But look at the gun kick. That's what's significant. But it tends to recenter itself after a shot. The hip fire is much better for the intact stance for the M16, as is look at aim down sight speed and sprint to fire versus the MCW and meta configuration. The M16 wins hands down there. There's a uh, boa man. Oh, we got a turret. Probably going to get gack. Look at the hip fire. The hip fire is just spectacular for the M16. And I get gacked. I think that was boa man. Put out the turret. Hopefully it'll, there's boa man. He's wearing the boa for a party. The feather boa. Let's throw out some hardware to help out the turret. And the turret starts doing work immediately and there's some more i think there might be somebody upstairs or somebody behind me trying to gack old grandpa grandpa's got a lead he's the king he's elvis if you want to win you got to gack elvis elvis equals grandpa grandpa's going to be tenacious here so the m16 and i get gacked 
the M16 has a tremendous ADS movement speed. You strafe side to side. Look at that, Snoop. Pretty rude, but I stitched him across the chest. He couldn't stay with me. And if you get three rounds in the first burst into the enemy, the next round at 60, roughly 60 milliseconds is going to come, and it's going to be a erasure of a kill. There was another ADS strafe. That guy couldn't stay with me either. So we're building a lead. Turret's doing work. Let's see if there's anybody upstairs. I got Gak turned into a cigarette, it looks like. That's bad. Smoking's bad for you. There's more strafing. Guy's gone away. Let's see if we can get somebody from up top. And we can. Maintaining our lead. More hip fire. And the... M16 absolutely rules a hip fire. I mean, I was so shocked at this. There's Cheech Marin, who used to be Elvis. Oh, he's completely outplayed himself. I mean, he just stood there looking for me. I guess he thought I was going to move around in front of him. There's the obligatory camper in that corner on shoot house. And there's somebody at distance, and he runs away. And so does Grandpa. More hip fire. And I get gacked by a proximity mine, which is only fair because I throw one out myself. But the fair only comes to town once a year. As far as I'm concerned, it's already been. There, a little dipsy doodle on that guy aimed down sight. There's Featherboa Man, and he's got old Grandpa again. But we still got a 10 kill lead. The M16 has performed admirably. See if we can check this spot. Don't ever run in front of it. Just check it. And there he is. We're going to go slow. A Snickers win. 30 kills. It's so satisfying. So what do I think about the M16? I think it's a great weapon. It's a good choice for competition for multiplayer. I don't know about Warzone. Definitely free for all. There is such a gambling nature to it because you can get the ultra fast kills. Anyway, please like and subscribe. Peace.